So, um, we're in Lafayette and we're going to be packing up soon. We had the rain and we did a reset. This is a trailer that was just outfitted before this trip. And uh, shelving was put up, pegboard, um, secure toolbox, so forth. Um, and a reference this to the kitchen. Um, you know, managers give a general layout of uh, what the kitchen should be and where things should be. As you see, um, towards the front here, we, have, we will have our paint supplies, our paint box. This actually works as a uh, bench. And um, our primary tools, which are the first to come off, would be on this bench. They come right out of the truck, first thing. Or if it's a small job, the boxes are open and you can shop from it and quickly do your job. And these are primary boxes right here sitting on the tailgate, which will be loaded up and stacked on here for transport to the next job. Um, we have a little bit excessive extra boxes, but again, these work nicely on the fire escape to put your general supplies in and the uh, red buckets next to it. It can be tied off and work anywhere in the fire escape. Again, you have your primary and secondary catch-alls on the fire escape. You can grab these boxes, do your shopping, and come out. Um, this pegboard is something new that we're test spinning. Um, again, you can come in here like a Home Depot and do your general shopping. Um, again, the truck has everything you would need to attack any job from five different ways. Um, again, we'll do. We'll come down from the back and work our way up. Again, you have your scraping and painting tools up front here. A fire extinguisher aboard, on board by the door. Your pegboard for your shopping center. Um, nut and bolt replenishment, ropes, first aid kits, dust masks, goggles, safety glasses, um, sawzall blades. We'd have drill bits up here. We, you know, we're out of a few items. Um, again, so your electrical boxes, you know, your Christmas tree, body of primary, which we'll put with our primary boxes behind me. But you have your tie-offs, your tops, your long cords. Things you'd pull off the truck right away and work. You're generally up towards the back here. As we go to the other side again, here's our bench. Beneath our bench we have a torch box. We have a welding box, which we rarely use. A uh, small set of breakers staging here, which we can set up a paint station with using planks or uh, picks or whatnot and actually encapsulate the and enclose it on three sides for protection with poly uh, makes um, a nice paint station and there's no splash hazards and so forth <coughs> um, we have our strong box here which is filled with tools we just purchased from a pawn shop uh, we actually made out very well on this trip with uh, the pawn shops uh, we got some fantastic tools at bargain prices that box is filled right now, but again, our expensive tools would be stored in there, um, which would allow for more room in our trailer. And um, again, under this workbench that we have set up, where we'll put our primary boxes, which are on the tailgate, ready to come in. We have a generator beneath it, again, with our um, welding boxes and torch boxes. Now again, all the uh, you know, management would know how a trailer is set up. You have your um, journeymen, which are your leaders, your doctors. You have your apprentices and paint masters. Your apprentice, your paint master is actually an apprentice in training. Uh, he'll learn this. The uh, basics first, become a paint master 
um, your scraping, your different methods of painting, how you store your paint, and so forth. And um, you know, during his apprenticeship, he will start doing bolts of opportunity, um, bolts down low, and so forth, or and have easy access um, as he gets more comfortable. Um, he would start doing uh, more difficult bolts. Again, it's about safety. Here's one of our paint boxes, which we store all our open paints, stuff that hasn't dried, and so forth, um, which will be at the back of the trailer when we load this up. It's one of the first things to come off. Um, again, all your paint supplies is right by the back. Um, your Christmas trees, and your primary tools, your structural boxes, your drill box, etc. Um, because those are the things you're going to grab first on any job.